Friday, September 13th, Friday the 13th at 3.47 a.m. And we're going to change our little sleeping off the adventure to out catching thrills because we are leaving for the airport to go to Galveston and get on Harmony at the Seas for an eight night. Stay tuned. Okay, Kat, with my laptop in my backpack, there's a stack of papers, like all with an alligator clip together. That's all the reservations and stuff because there's stuff that you two both don't know about happening. So like if I should pass on or like <laughs> go into the ICU on the ship and you you need to keep these reservations. <laughs> okay. So uh, there's the receipts. That's how to find the receipts. I can't, I can't. <laughs> All right, 3.52, we are gonna get on the road. We have a flight at seven, we board at 6.20, and we have about an hour and 18 minute drive. Huzzah. We are here at the Memphis airport, lower level two, right here by the exit. See you on the other side, viewers. Dave's checking in on the United kiosk. How oh, can you do all of this? So we've checked our luggage and like, look at the long, long regular TSA line and look at the shorty little TSA pre-check line. She's so demure and mindful. Hey. TSA pre-check for the win. Okay, good morning viewers. I'm guarding all the luggage while they use the ladies. And uh, then we're heading to gate 11. We board in 30-ish minutes. Huzzah, we made it. I'm always stressed we aren't going to make it. 5.57 a.m. 5.57, we board at 6.20, and we leave at 7. Huzzah. Thank God we have preached it, because the regular security line was too long. Yeah, if we didn't have first class with Premier Access and TSA PreCheck, we'd miss our flight. <laughs> Here we go. Carol's going down the skyway. Where's Cat? There's Cat. Cat loves the first row. Someone tried to take my seat. Yeah, and then she yelled at the steward about it. We're just stressed out. I'm sorry. I think when he comes, I'm gonna apologize and be like, she needs coffee with Kahlua in it. No, not really, because she's gonna drive. I'm like walking board on top service over to Houston. I am 96 today, if you're sticking around there. 95 so degrees. If you are sticking around Houston for your Saturday, it looks like another nice warm day for you. Then 5 to 10 miles an hour. For now, I'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. We'll get you to Houston safely and as good as you can. Certainly do appreciate you coming with us this morning. As always, appreciate the business here at United Airlines. Welcome on board.
So Kat just got a random Snapchat audio call that disappeared while she's eating her banana. We were surprised they have fruit. United has fruit, guys. Beautiful. Cat's like, look guys, I ate some fruit. Look guys, my breakfast was a rubbing cookie with I'm just having a Sprite. I'm not even having potassium. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Seven minutes away. It is 8.35, we were supposed to land at 8.44 and we're already here. Hold on, I have to buckle this up because I can't carry it. I'm a baby. And then we gotta go potty and then we're gonna find our luggage. It's bumping here today, folks. Busy, busy, we're trying to find the baggage claim. True, we have walked a very far way and we still got a while for baggage. We have secured the luggage. The Carl arrived. Mine arrived. Huzzah for minimal damage. And now we're headed to ground transport to try to find a Turo that's been parked somewhere off site. Huzzah. Stay tuned. We are at the JFK shuttle parking spot. spot. So stay tuned. No, no, 3 a.m. The, there should be a bus arriving for JFK. I don't know if we'll be able to get on it, but I mean, at least I'll get some footage of it. it might be the next one. But yeah, we are going to the parking spot JFK to pick up a Turo. We'll see about it. And two buses came and two buses went and we 
we didn't get on either of them, but we'll get the next one. Well, I'm like, it just took someone park. else. Let's take a Jeep tour. Slay, babe. Slay. It really wasn't bad. We had other stops and it's only 9.35 and we're at our Turo rental car. And the keys were locked on the side and Dave actually got the keys unlocked. Driving with it flopping. You want me to hold the keys? Oh, oh, the door open. That's all that counts is the keys work. <laughs> so we have hit the dreaded Houston traffic. At least we've got a nice, cool, plush Jeep. Love the Jeep. So far, Mark is slaying the Truro game. We need to leave Mark a duck. We should leave a duck. Now we're going to Seven Room, approximately 25 miles. If you've been watching the Jacksonville vlogs, hit the I card. Uh, you'll know about Seven Brew. Everybody should know about Seven Brew. <sighs> Stay tuned, viewers. We're going to get out of this traffic one day. <laughs> so we have arrived at the Seven Brew and obtained Seven Brew. Seven Brew. Seven Take a Brew. shot every time Cat says Seven Brew. Yeah, these cup holders are intense. by the bean. Let's now, try Dave's lemon freeze. It's basically lemon and ice cream. Wow, that is lemony. That's crazy. You like it? Yeah. At least it's but I like, like my jaws hurt right now, but I like that. And Jinjin got a black tea. But you know I gotta go caffeine free. Seven brew. I love they put ice in it. Hey. I'm sleepy. Eleven fifty six. We are at Pussies. In the Jeep. I'm just worn out from driving, so I don't want to go in. Like, I just don't want to see people. I can't. I have a lack of sleep, and it's two people in there, and Dave's asleep. So, Jenny's going to TT, and then we'll be back on the road to Galveston. Well, viewers, we on the road. Sleepy Dave is awake. The baby's awake. It's 12.08. Jenny went to TT in the pussy. She didn't get anything. We didn't even go in the bussies. I'm like, oh. You know we're down bad. We're just tired. So tired. We gotta recuperate. Tomorrow's boarding day. And we have scursion this afternoon. The surprise scursion. It's very strenuous. And 20 minutes <laughs> until we're in Galveston. Huzzah. <laughs> there's a new Hooters in Galveston. Yeah, so there's this Hooters. We haven't been here in over a year, viewers. We have not been on a cruise in over a year. You're probably like, yeah, we know. We've been watching. But <laughs> That uh, girl that was like, I'm going to unfollow you if you're not going on any more cruises. Well, I'm sorry I'm not independently wealthy. Well, if you'd like to pay, honey, we'd be more than happy to go. So go ahead and find us. We're going to set up a GoFundMe and a Patreon and everything else. And you can just sign up for that and just put all your money in it. Send us donations. Because we're just indigent. We just need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, we're taking a different, like, scenic route. Right? Hotel. <laughs> I'm like, where are we going? Getting different tours of Galveston today. Four minutes, it says. 
Stay tuned. We found one of the turtles, viewers. We're turning here so we get a better view. Let me zoom out a little because I don't want it to be in your face. Turtle, turtle. It's always so difficult to execute a turn on the vlog. <laughs> Be very demure, very mindful of the viewers. I'm mindful of motion sickness. Viewers, I think we might be coming up on that beach road. I think it wants me to turn and come like up the back. I think I'm gonna go straight. Stay tuned. See, we're getting down, viewers. Getting down towards the beach. We're getting here, we're getting here, we're doing it. Although. When we get down here, we gotta go to the right because we're not saw. staying there. <laughs> <laughs> we're staying at a new go place. Right, right here. Yeah. I think jinjin has been probably about to stroke out in the back seat this whole time. That's my hotel. Well, we're trying something different. It is a holiday inn. Because, you know, I wouldn't branch out for my HG. Is it the little condo ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be the bougier ones. And I was going to say, when you see this room, viewers, it cost me 30 more dollars than the regular room. Like, if you even get to see the room. Like, they may be like, check-ins not till four. So are you going to tell me where I'm going? Holiday Inn Beach Resort or something? Is it on this road? <laughs> yes. But the problem is, viewers, if you stay at this hotel, they say it's way far out. That's why I rented this Jeep. Because I was like, we're staying way far out at the end of Galveston, and I do not want to, like, depend on an Uber to get me around. I was There's like, I can't problem. stay, because it's way... Jin Jin and I passed it in the tour last time. Oh, were you... Well, you were starting grad school at the Starbucks. That's when we saw it. And it's out in the middle of nowhere, but it's on the beach. It's not, it's on that side. It's not on this side of the road. It's on that side. So we can just go straight to the beach. Right, see. So, new things to try. Ooh. Thought we were about Slam to. That break. Thought my we were about to. Side break. I did. I stopped my passenger side break. I've never even been this. Well, I've never been this far. I haven't even seen that. Have you not been this far? No, I've never been past the Kroger. She was in and all our time us. here. Why would I've never been anywhere but the spot in the Kroger? And then then y'all drove around, anything. and I was in Starbucks. So I mean, wow. I haven't seen any of this. Well, stay tuned, viewers, for wild times. Look, viewers, we open to the roof. It's so lit. It's lit. I love this Jeep because it's just got like a retractable roof. Now it's like 95 degrees, so I'm gonna close it. <laughs> But he was like, you can even open and close it while you're driving. Like... And you don't have to like get out and take the roof off your Jeep. Like you just push a button and it opens and closes. I'm like, slight. As it should be. But Kat was saying she's never been out this far. This is her first tour of Galveston. I've never been farther than the Kroger. She's never, she so never saw the Walmart that Jin Jin went in the last time we were here. Here we go to the new hotel. <laughs> Let's see what Kat thinks. I think it's this great building with the green roof. Right there. Thanks. Hopefully they're not like, check-ins in four hours, fool. Roll on. Probably. They'll be like, we don't think you're two-bedroom yet. But see, it looks like parking's like under it. Yeah, and then there's the Tipsy Turtle, which I think is closed and has like two stars and people say it's absolutely horrible. Some of the last reviews are like, there's one person here working and he's bartending and cooking and everything. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. Let's see. Front desk. This entrance up to first floor. <laughs> I don't know how to get up there. Front desk marketplace. So 
it is 12.50 p.m. on September the 13th, 2024. Christy at the front desk at this Holiday Inn Club Vacations was excellent. And here's our room. They had it ready three hours early. This room, now viewers, we normally stay. Hold on viewers, I'm gonna go over here because I'm gonna put in footage right here of our normal room. Okay, so here we are, room 620 at the Holiday Inn Resort in Galveston. We got us a closet with hangers and iron and ironing board and a safe. I mean, a pretty big safe, bigger than a cruise ship safe. And then you have this little coffee bar station, a mirror, and the bathroom behind me, and a full length mirror. And you've got a couple queen size beds. You've got a microwave and a refrigerator, and your TV, and a desk, and there are plugs on this lamp. And there are plugs and USBs over here. You can scan that if you want to see the in-room to go menu that's available. <clears throat> and then all of these rooms have like ocean views. We are on the sixth floor. Look at the view from the balcony. And it has, this hotel has a large resort style pool. It's heated. There's a hot tub and a kids area. A place with fire pits. It's a very nice spot. And then we've got the bathroom. So here's the bathroom, the sink. And you've got hand soap and body wash and mouthwash and a shower cap and some cups. And then the shower. It is actually clean. There are marks in it, but it's paint. So, I mean, the paint is clean. But then there's body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Okay. <laughs> now, this is this room costs 30 more dollars than that other room down in town. I got two welcome waters. I got 500 points. 500 points for being Platinum Elite. I wrote Christy's name because it said Christy was in training. It's so big. Yeah. Yeah, out onto one shared big balcony, it should be. Got this bathroom with a big soaking tub. Got this big living room with a kitchen. Heck, it's probably rested. It's like a beach balcony door. Let's go see what Kat's doing and then we'll go fetch Jin Jin. How oh, cool. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. But we have direct ocean views from our balcony. Stay tuned, viewers, because I have to get some new pants. We need to park right here. We could. We should park right here and we'll put the top down and take Jeep pics. Yeah, you don't have to cross the traffic to get to the I'm like, look, we finally got on onto the balcony, viewers. I'm also like... Like, this balcony is huge. Like, there's two chairs, and there's two chairs, and there's the door from the one bedroom, and the living room, and some tables, and two more chairs, and another door. And then the beautiful views of the ocean. And the loud sounds of men working on the lawn. Socks at the beach. <laughs>